Hey guys, uh, I'm going to do, um, show you a tutorial on these envelopes um, that I made. And I'm using the tilde paper, and it's like a, you know, coin envelope um, that I found a pattern for, and, or a template, whatever you want to call it. And so I've made a couple, and I figured I'd uh, show you guys how I, how I did it. And, um... I'm, this is my uh, design team project for Art Attack Supplies. I will have a link below to Tracy's store so you can purchase the beautiful Tilda paper. Um, for this particular one, let me make sure I'm in frame here. For this particular one, I used um, Christmas Play. And this paper that I'm using now. I think it's Country Escape, right? Hang on. Yeah, Country Escape. This this paper that I'm going to be using is from this um, paper pad, Country Escape. So, um, all right, let's get started. I will have a link below to the template that I used, um, but you just print it out on regular paper and um, cut the template out and then use the template. It's kind of like the, the birdhouses that I made. Um, okay, so let's go. How I did it was I lined it up with the edges of the paper. Am I in frame? Let me just make sure I'm in frame again, guys. Oh yeah. Okay. And this is going to be the inside. Um, so that's up because you're going to have to trace the template out, obviously. So let me line it up, and then once it's lined up, just trace it. Oops, I can't see. I've got the light pushed up so there's not so much glare, or hopefully not so much glare, so it's harder to see. So once you've got the template traced out, you just need to cut it out. I'm going to pause the video so I can do that. Hopefully. Okay, I'm back, guys. Okay, that was the hardest part, cutting it out. So when you print out the template, um, it shows you, you know, where you need to fold. And it comes with two of these circles. I don't know about you, I cannot cut out a perfect circle. So if you will notice on this one, the circles are larger. Number one, I know I have some little brads somewhere, but I can't find them. So I had to use bigger brads. Um, and number two, I only have a one inch punch. I don't have anything smaller, so it's fine. It works for me. Um, but you do get two circle templates when you print out the template. So if you'll notice on the template, along with the lines where you need to score, and, and I just used a Sharpie to make them darker, um, there's two little spots for um, you to punch your hole where you are to attach your brads, so you know, okay? But what you have to do is flip it over, because in order for them to line up, when you fold it, it has to be on one specific side. So you have to make sure that you punch it, punch your hole on the right side, if that makes sense. So what I did was I just lined it up. And to punch, I just cut a um, mouse pad up, and that's what I used to punch on. So I'm just going to line that up punch the hole through just so you know you know where it's supposed to go okay so I got my holes punched now again just like with the birdhouse we have to score it so again we're going to use our sorry about that our ruler and our stylus and we are going to just line it up so that we can score it. And your 
just going to do that. Sorry if my head gets in the way, guys. I just can't see. You're going to do that on all four sides. And I chose to do this because I thought it was such a cute idea to send you know, little embellishments in. It's like perfect for them to hold them if you want to send stuff out. So that's why I chose to do the little coin envelope. Or you could just, you know, make a small tag and slip it in there to send that as well too. Okay. So again, I know you can't see my score lines because they're probably really faint, but they're there. So at this point, you're just going to fold everything in on your score line. point I kind of just make sure everything is lined up now see this is lined up see how my I don't know if you can see it my holes are lined up there if you did it on this side your hole would and when you did it with the template your hole would be off over here and I know this because that's what I did on my very first one so in you just have to make sure that when you're punching the hole, because remember we started it like this and we traced it, um, the template on here, and then I flipped it over to where the outside was up, and then that's when I lined the template up and punched the holes. So just you have to remember to do that. Um, and then as far as the pencil, I just erase it, because this is the only part that's going to be seen, the top flap, so it doesn't matter. And then I took some Distress Ink on my other one. I took red on my other one. Um, I'm going to do some worn lipstick on this one. And I just use the makeup sponges. And yes, I mean, there's 50 million colors on here, but I don't care. And we're going to distress the edges. Or ink the edges, I guess. No, we're not distressing them. So once that's done, now we need the little circles for here. So again, I just took my one inch punch and I think I have a die cut for my cuddle bug that has a smaller one, but I can't be bothered to pull all that out right now. So I kind of want them to have a pattern since this is just the pink stripe. So I think going to do, let's see, that, and that. Okay, so again, I know I have little brads somewhere, but I have no idea where they are. I've looked. So we're just taking these oversized ones. Now, you have to punch a hole in this one as well because you can't just stick your brad through it. I mean, you could, but you'll probably bend the paper and what's with that ribbon, guys? So I just put this because obviously this circle is bigger than this circle. So I kind of just centered it as best I could and then punch the hole. Same thing with this one. Put the smaller circle on top, get it to where I think it's centered, and punch the hole. Okay, so now you need uh, obviously some twine or something to close it. 
So, which one do we want? I think I like this one. I made it kind of like, I think I cut it like 13 inches. You want to do it at least that long. I have no idea how long that is. And I found that the easiest thing to do I found the easiest thing to do was to stick your brad through and then tie this string to here before you put it on your envelope. So what I did was I started just a single knot. And I got just a touch of glue. <sighs> I need glasses, guys. I got a touch of glue. And I mean just, you know, a little bit right. It helps if it comes out. Right on where you're going to tie it. And then pull it. And then just tie it again. and then just cut cut it short okay okay so once you have that done you have to put your brads on before you seal it so once that is done then you line it, your brad up with your hole and stick it through and then just fold it okay same with this bad boy you gotta put it on before you seal it up. So stick it through. And then let's see. I think I want the flowers like that. So am I not in frame? Sorry guys. Okay, let me make sure I'm still lined up here. So, this happened on my other one. Okay. Now, I'm going to cut this off a bit because it needs to adhere over here. So, what did I do with my cutters? Oh, here they are. Buried. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this... Now here's where we are. We've got that on the top part, and it's all bent. Okay. So now we just have to close it up. So I used my score tape. And why am I losing everything, you guys? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> so I just ran some along here because you want to bring in the sides first and then you push that down and then along the bottom right here and obviously you can use wet glue whatever you want to use whatever you like your ATG what have you I just chose to use my score tape that up. And then there's your string to wind around to close your little coin envelope. And there you have it. There's your coin envelope. And again, like I said, it's it's not a huge envelope, 
but it is perfect just to send some little goodies in and then seal it right up. Or tag, you can just write a note and stick that in there and pop it in a swap or um, rack, what have you. So there is my coin envelope, guys. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.